Three, two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation, on the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Saturday, August 31st. It is the last day in August, right, bud? And today, we're going to do some old school back exercises. I'm going to do some narrow grip pull-ups. I'm going to do some regular wide grip pull-ups. And I'm going to do some flexible grip pull-ups. And I'm going to do these all from like a, like a cheater position. I'm going to have my feet on, on something to help me pull myself up. And this is a great exercise to do for people who aren't able to do that many pull-ups. And you can use your, I'll show you how you use your feet to stabilize you in these various uh, pull-up positions. So really great um, for building strength in the, your shoulders and your back. And I'm also going to do some uh, lat pull-downs with the cables. And I'm also going to do some one arm. Uh, lat pull down through the cables for the lats and the back of the shoulder. So I'm going to do some a really good back workout today. We do five really good uh, back exercises to strengthen the back and the sh back of the shoulders. And so without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises. And maybe later, I'll take Bud for a walk. I gave him a tick tip yesterday, and as you can see. His hair is nice and brushed. They just brushed his hair not too long ago. So his hair is looking pretty good. I got Bud on the bench. Oh, Bud. I think I have Bud do some bench pressing and stuff, right? <laughs> he took a nice long walk yesterday because yesterday was really nice out. And hopefully today, maybe we'll go for another walk again today. Because it is, after all, the last day in August. And then pretty soon the leaves are going to start falling. And we're going to be doing a lot of raking in and and I'm not, not going to have as much time to go for walks because the weather is going to get cold and hopefully we'll have a nice we'll have nice fall weather so we'll still be able to go for walks and plus the around the New England area it gets darker much earlier in the fall too so it's kind of a pain because a lot of times I get home from work it gets dark and we're not able to go for a walk because it's, it's too dark out but um, so hopefully we'll get those walks in well weather's still nice. Right, bud? <laughs> so without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises, and I'm going to put Bud in the other room. Just want to make sure Bud gets some camera time. Because he's looking awesome. Arr. He just got his hair cut not too long ago. And his nails are starting to get long again. I clipped his nails at the very beginning of the summer, and they're starting to grow in. I usually clip his nails maybe twice a year. I trim them down. <laughs> and if they get too long, I think it bothers him when he's walking and he's walking, his nails get long. So I'll be trimming his nails eh, maybe about another month or so. He's got one that grows out pretty well, huh, bud? Without further ado, though, I'll begin doing those exercises. I'll put Bud in the other room where he can chill out. It's a nice, actually, it's not that hot today. It's probably about 75 degrees. Good, good temperature. Good relaxing temperature, nice breeze. We'll put Bud in the other room with a fan on the other room. You can chill out. And I will demonstrate those exercises. All right. And before I do, I'll take three deep breaths. And I'll say the mantra. I don't think you can see me from here because I got my camera pointed at my pull-up station. I do all my pull-ups and stuff. I'm going to take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. state of mind and I'm ready to do my first set of narrow grip cheater style pull-ups. We call these cheater style because I'm going to use my legs 
as a brace to help pull myself up to get extra repetitions and to make the exercise easier so I can get more repetitions and I can do the exercise in a more full range of motion. And I'll go, I'll, it's my first set, I'll try to do anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 repetitions. Count along with me. I got 22 repetitions. I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to burn out in that first exercise because I'm going to do some uh, uh, cheater bar style pull-ups next. And this is also an excellent exercise to work the biceps. I really feel a, a good burn in my, my biceps from doing this exercise. It's an awesome exercise. You got to give it a try. You can do it on any pull-up bar or anything you can grab overhead and put something under your feet to help you push yourself up. Really good way to do a pull up, especially if you can only do a few with your body weight. Next, I'm gonna do a set of regular uh, wire style uh, pull ups from the cheater, cheater style pull ups with the, with the straight bar. With this one, I'm gonna grab it from a wider angle. I'll try to get about, try to get at least 15 repetitions. Come on with me. repetitions with that one. Felt a nice burn in my, my lats, the back of my shoulders, and my biceps. I think that one for me is a little bit more challenging than, uh, than the narrow grip. I feel like I got more strength in the narrow grip. Plus I did the narrow grip first, that's why I was able to get more repetitions. But uh, grabbing the, the bar from a wider angle, doing the same exercise, you feel it hit the, your lats and the back of your shoulders from like a different position. So it hits different areas of the muscle. It's a really good exercise. You got to give it a try. Okay, next, I'm going to do a set of pull-ups, cheater star pull-ups from the, the flexi grip, handle grip. So with this exercise, you can you can angle your, your hands any position, whether you want to, you want to position your, your palms forward, sideways, backwards, whatever is most comfortable. And that's what it's about these flexible grip handles. You can do pull-ups and other sorts of exercises from many different angles. Let me fix this. Yeah. I want to make sure that bar is stable. Alright. And I'll go for about uh, 12, 15 repetitions. Count along with me. repetitions and I think I had my grip was probably mostly forward but it was slightly it was kind of like this it's good about that is you know it's you can angle your your hand position any any whichever way is most comfortable for you I also like when I do pull-ups from a bar position 
even if I do cheater style pull-ups, sometimes you're holding that bar from a stationary position, and it's like, you know, my, my wrist feels slightly uncomfortable, you know, so you might want to like turn your hand a little bit more, you might have more power from your biceps or whatever to help pull yourself up. So it seems like I can do, I always do more repetitions with the flexible style handles because you, your body kind of, when you're doing a pull-up, you might use more bicep if you're angling your wrist one way or you might use more lat if you're angling your wrist another way. It's just, I don't know, it's just one of those things. That's why it's really good to have. All right. Okay, next I'm going to do a seated lat pull down. Basically, this is almost like doing a pull up, um, but from a, sit a seated position. And I'm only using about 50 pounds. So, this is also a great exercise for people who can't do that many pull ups. Because basically, with this exercise, you're working the same muscles as you would if you were doing regular pull ups. And I'm going to go for about maybe 15, 20 repetitions or so. This, this, this might even be a little light to warm up with, but I'm just going to do this exercise with the 50 pounds as a warm up. It's a great exercise for the back. And I'll probably go up maybe 10 or 20 pounds on each side on my next set. So that was a little light, but I got 20 repetitions. I got it was a nice warm up, nice burn, felt really good. It's a great exercise, even if you're somebody who can do a lot of pull ups, because you can really do, do the exercise with that full range of motion, really, really hit all those muscle fibers in the back. It's a really good exercise. You got to give it a try. Just about every gym has one of these, you know, or something like this where you can do a seated cable lat pull down. The final exercise that we do is a lat pull down, one arm from the kneeling position, one arm at a time. And with this weight, you can put more weight on the table because you're not going to, your, your body weight will come, be able to counterbalance more weight because you're going to use one arm. going to put maybe 10 more pounds on this one. What's good about doing these one arm at a time is when you add more weight, you got your body weight holding you down so you're just pulling, so chances are you're not going to go up in the air like you're doing the two arm. I'm trying to get about eight more reps.
great exercise to get your obliques involved in the exercise as well. arms at a time if you don't have a usually at most gyms they have a bar that goes across your the front part of your thighs so you don't pull your your body weight your body up in the air it's the same thing see, I don't have that on my my system so when I do two arm lat pull downs when I use the cables I gotta be careful not to use too much weight if I use more weight than my body weight I'll, I'll just pull my butt right off the seat you see what I'm saying so when I do it with one arm at a time um, I'm not gonna pull down more than my body weight with one arm, you know, I'm probably about 190 pounds. I'm not going to do that one arm. Some people probably can, but I can't. So I'm not going to have any, I'm not going to worry about lifting my body out the floor. So it'll be a pull down exercise. That's what I meant by you're able to put more weight one arm at a time. But it's a really good exercise. And it also hits the lats from a different angle from that kneeling position. And I notice that I, I involve my obliques in the exercise as well, that my side, the, the side wall muscle and my abdominals, it hits that, targets that as well. So it's a really good variation of the lat pull down to do it one arm at a time. And remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember to keep training, try doing some of these exercises, and have an awesome day.